when Jesus gives the saying, uh, you are the salt of the world, he's actually making a, a play on words, first of all, in the original language, because salt in Aramaic is tevel, and the land or the earth is also tevel. So he says, you are the tevel of the tevel, which is very cute. But salt was so important in antiquity. This was a time when there was no refrigeration. And if you wanted to preserve meat, you needed salt uh, to keep all of your meat from going bad. If you made a covenant with someone, you would eat salt with them. It was a very symbolic thing. It was a preservative. Today, salt is a preservative as well. And we know that everything cooked with salt tastes better. <laughs> so Jesus is saying, your presence brings preservation. You, his followers, us in society, should be something that preserves and helps to keep what is good. It's something that is a reflection of covenant with God and relationship with God. It's like something that is valuable and it was costly, salt was costly. If we're not creating peace, if we are not working with our neighbors for good, if we are not considerate of another, then we've lost our saltiness. Let's be an influence for good. Let us be something that brings life and preservation.